So you'll start by getting yourself a birdhouse or gooseneck gourd. And these come in a lot of different shapes. And so you can pick whatever one you like, just as long as the bottom is of decent size so you'll be able to make a hole for a bird to make a nest in. Then you're just going to give the whole gourd a coating of colorful spray paint. And very carefully draw a circle of about an inch and a half diameter on the side of the lower portion of the gourd. Then use a dremel or a steak knife to very carefully cut out the circle. So once you've got your hole cut out, you'll have to clean out the guts, just like in a pumpkin, except in this case the guts are dry. You can also take a steak knife and use it to chop up the dry guts a little bit before you try pulling them out. A spoon really helps for scraping out the edges when you've gotten most of the dry guts out. Once you've got the guts cleaned out of your gourd, you're just going to take your Dremel and drill three holes in the bottom of the gourd. Those will be used for drainage. So draw a design on the front of your gourd and then just very carefully start painting whatever design you want. You can get really creative with these. In this case I'm just doing a star. But you can also do flowers using the center hole as the center of the flower. Or if you have one with the bent over neck, you can turn that into a goose. All you have to do is just add um, some orange for the beak and then an eye. You can also make them into houses. You can use the hole as the window in the door and then paint on some fake windows. Make a complete house. Once you've got your chosen design painted on your gourd, you just want to give it a coating of clear varnish that'll help protect it and shine it up a bit as well. And so to finish the gourd, you'll just take a thick piece of cord and tie it somewhere around the neck of the gourd. Cut off the cord so it's about eight or nine inches long, and then just tie the ends into a knot so that you end up with a loop. And that's how you'll hang the gourd. And they can just take them and hang them outside in a tree and birds will make nests in them. Usually end up with sparrows, they're the ones that I found most common in birdhouse gourds. And so here they are with a bunch of different ones. Some of them I've left plain and other ones I've added details on. You can really be very creative with these and they're, they're really a lot of fun to make.